Dr. Fraser Crane is coming back. No! We Ooh, said, he's, he's already in the MCU. Miracles. He's yeah. in the MCU. We're, we're going to get Beast, and he's I like running the house. Taken Storm's him the leader, but he's like When kinda... I had the chance. So wait, I, he was great. Go back and watch Last Stand. Kelsey Grammer's going hard as Beast. Yeah, he and is. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, he is. Welcome back to The Break Room, everybody. I'm Zach Huddleston, and joining me today are Brandon Barrick. That's right, reigning assembled champion. Okay, and Jessica Clemens. Who's Ryan Painter? <laughs> Why does your name change every time I'm on this show? I don't I don't have a Twitter account, so we're rotating it through uh, people that watch on Twitch. To be uh, fair, no one has a Twitter account anymore. Oh, good point. We have X. That's right. Well, I don't have one of those either. Uh, today, we're doing another version of a break room assemble. Woo! Okay, we did one of these in December for the next Avengers. You can go back and watch that. Um, we actually did, went to an audience vote after we each assembled our own teams. And supposedly, I'd love to recheck the numbers Allegedly. on this. Stop Allegedly. The Stop, Stop the count. count. Stay Brandon. in line. Brandon. Stay in line. <laughs> Brandon won with 50% of the vote. A majority. A clear majority. Uh, that's right at the edge of a majority. The voters right. have spoken. We have an agenda now, and we're moving forward with Maybe it. Maybe it's just easier to type Brandon in a keyboard. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of any way to meet BB. And, and actually, I misspoke. It was it was a Secret Wars team, which is slightly different than an Avengers team. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can go back and watch that, but uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and introduce this concept with the rules for today. We are putting together our own X-Men teams, mm -hmm. okay? This is for a, a probable future X-Men film, we're assuming in the next five years, yes. Marvel's gonna get us an X movie in phase five or six or seven or whenever, um, maybe announced soon, we don't know. Uh, and so we are gonna, each of us build our own teams. Once these teams are assembled via draft, you in the chat, in the stream can vote on who you think assembled the best team, uh, and then we'll lie later and say that it wasn't Brandon. Wow. I, I'm glad that you already acknowledge I'm gonna win this so easily, so easily. This is the MCU first class draft yep. assembled. Wait, first class? They gotta well, be like kids? Well, like first, this will be the MCU's first class. I said they gotta be kids. They don't have to be kids. Okay. They'll be a varying age. You gotta have some younger people, assumed younger people, right? It is a school for the we'll gifted. Take class. Yeah, they're all over the age of 21. This is like in Harry Potter when it's like, listen, I know you just fought an evil wizard, but you gotta turn in 16 inches on <laughs> wolf. Uh, transformation today. 16 inches? In the book, they describe it as like, because they're writing on scrolls. Oh, so they don't say your... four pages, they say like a mouth, which I always thought was like very interesting. Interesting. Also, like, how boring. 16 inches? <laughs> No, I'm not writing out on a scroll and have to. You're, you're a wizard. You can do magic. You have to write I know. book reports on old ass yeah. made up stuff. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what we all do in school. Hey, you're a wizard. You got to learn somehow. You're a wizard, Jessica. I'm a wizard. Um, Jessica. That, that could be a future assembled. Also, throw in the chat, or if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment of future assembleds you might like to see yeah. us do. Uh, put together our own wizarding house. I don't know. Is that would that be an option? We could pick a bunch of old wizards, I guess. <laughs> but, oh know. yeah, we could. Oh yeah, a wizard a a across wizard. across pop culture. Wizards? Yeah, yeah. Your team of uh, what was uh, horrors or it, whatever? It was uh, the, the 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 third Harry Potter movie. Which one was that? The th of the original Harry Potters. <laughs> yes. Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay, no, the fourth one. Uh, try the one with the try. Uh, yeah, the tr Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire. If we made a tri wizard oh, okay. team. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I see. Um, I want Voldemort. No, um, wait, no, 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 that's, you get Tom Riddle, you don't get Voldemort. Okay, sorry, continue. So the, the rules for this draft, and we're going to be drafting like a sports draft in, in order, get em. Um, is that A, once a mutant is selected, mm -hmm. they're off the board. Nobody else can have that mutant. So there will only be one Wolverine across our teams, one no Cyclops, one Storm, one Professor yeah, X. No one's. Um, <laughs> and we, we will each get six picks. Mm -hmm. Though one of those picks is going to be assigned to us by evil producer Evan. Yeah. Um, who has a list of random garbage mutants uh, fitting for the garbage bags of uh, Break Room. Um, we're going to roll and randomly be assigned one, and then we will get to pick five mutants, and those five mutants will have to each fit 
into one designated slot on our team. Okay. Brandon, do you want to go through what the okay, these roles are, are? These are the slots to fill out this MCU X-Men first class. You're going to have a leader. Okay, yes. got to have a leader. You're going to have the brains. You're going to have the heavy. You're going to have the telekinetic, okay? And you might think there's not that many. There's a ton. There's a ton there's of telekinetic units. Yeah. They most, all of them have that power. You're going to have a newcomer. This is the audience surrogate, right? This is... In the original uh, X-Men movies, the Bryan Singer ones, this is Rogue, right? We learned through her. In the animated series, it's our girl Jubilee. In older comics, it's a uh, Dazzler. Kitty Pride Kitty was Pride. Our Yes. So this is like, yeah, this is how we're gonna learn all about how the system works for these mutants through this character. And then finally, uh, there's gonna be a category that includes a former X-Men actor reprising their role. So this will be someone from either the early Fox ones, uh, the later. Uh, younger first class going through the generations ones. Uh, one of those mutants coming back for this movie. Original actor reprising their role. Great. And and I guess with the the one other caveat of um, this has to be a mutant. You can't draft Spider-Man or right. something like that. This is somebody in the comics that has been on an X team at some point. No juggernauts? No, he's a mutant. He's not a mutant. We we talked. Uh, I, it's not it's, it's magic sorry. armor. But it's I thought magic. he's related also, to. Also, he would be good step, on the team. He would just keep it trying to Charles attack. Xavier. Yeah, he's a step brother, and he by keeps just attacking. <laughs> is he mutant by marriage? I mean, even if like <laughs> yeah, how does that work? Every kid becomes a mutant of a mutant. Let's also just remember. I mean, yeah, that yeah, you're true. And this can be a. We'll be fair because sometimes in the comics they've like. They're always bouncing around whether or not like uh, uh, Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver, Quicksilver, Quicksilver are mutants or not. They change that around a lot. I, Again, we'll be, it, we'll I be, think we'll give a we'll, we'll give a pass right. to anybody that's been on an X team. And Juggernaut right. has been a member of the X Men. All the villains at one point have been a good guy right. as well. I mean, so to be fair for Juggernaut, he fights for the class. You know, he joined the Brotherhood of Mutants. He's like, I ain't no mutie. OG. Oh, oh, I ain't no mutie. I'll bash some skulls. So, so to begin, we are each going to roll a six-sided die to determine the draft order. Um, I rolled first, and I rolled a five. We're going to yes. I got a four. Oh, okay. Here we go. One. Damn oh, it. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. So we'll be going in this order down the table. I hate um, it. That's also the order. We're going to first get our assigned mutant. Again, this is going to be an important pick. Evan has a list of six rando, weirdo, uh, obscure mutants. Whatever number we roll is who we get, and then we have to put them into one of the categories uh, to be filled on our list. Okay. I just rolled a three. What's Evan. his three? Tell him. All right. Oh, so oh, beak. 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 He's misunderstood. He's just ugly. <laughs> Um, yeah, He's for like those of you real. who don't know, Beak uh, is a mutant who looks like a bird, has light bones, but he can't really fly. Mm -hmm. uh, He's but got he, brittle bones? He's got yeah. brittle bones, but he's really good at making friends. Yeah. That's uh, all All the websites wanted to stress that. No power set. He's just bird-like. Yeah. yeah. Sticks and stones break his bones. <laughs> also, Damn. I was laughing and also crying at myself because I think I got telepathic and telekinetic mixed up. And the kind of similar. Okay. Yeah, so that, that I was gonna clarify. Yeah, we should. That should be all in the okay. same boat. So you're I'll, good. I'll throw my character out when we get the telekinetic, and then you tell me if I can't do it. And then in the movies too, like um, Xavier's saying, like psychic a lot too. Mm. Yes. So it's it's kind and of lot, mind stuff. mind stuff. Okay, mind stuff. Oh, oh I'm just gonna talk real quick. Oh, I have no. to figure out what oh, I category I put Beak into. And this this is rough, Evan, because this is from the Morrison run uh, on X Men, I believe. It's kind of was he a, new X Men they brought him in? Yeah, I know maybe he was in new X. Some more recent character. Um, do we I, want? Do you want to decide your category now? Should we wait on it? No, make him do it now. I had I had a contingency plan for this. <laughs> I mean, okay, so he's not. He doesn't have any psychic powers. You just mentioned his brittle bones, so he can't be my muscle. But he's a good friend. Uh, he's a good friend, so... You should make him your leader. I was thinking that was my best <laughs> plan. I, was I mean, how embarrassing is it going to be to be like my X-Men, led by Beak? <laughs> I think I'm going to put him as... <laughs> this is tough because I had a couple people I Beak really liked him. in this category, but I have to make him my brain. Yeah, because you know I, that's what? That's a good idea. Emotional intelligence is a kind of intelligence. And I think in this, this is MCU, he'll be introduced. This could be the smartest beak across the multiverse, right? He's tactical, he understands strategy, he knows how to build a nest. This guy, uh, he's good brains. <laughs> he knows how to build a nest. Good I'd brains. walk up to him and just go, <laughs> and then break his arm. Oh, my eyes! He goes, my poetry! You could see some fun bits <laughs> been around. You call that bird brained? Oh, Ooh, there we go. You're Listen thinking with only money. You only think money. You think <laughs> You're the wind beneath my wings. Stop it. 
Um, okay, Jessica has to roll for her bad. I had a six, it. and I want to keep with my six because it was such a good roll. She did roll a six. I witnessed it. I don't oh, want that. Oh, God, Herman. I don't want that. I hack you. I don't want that. Wait, <laughs> let me re-roll. <laughs> so, yeah, Glove, he's got a wax physiology, but he's got enhanced strength, durability, and speed. Oh. Honestly, out of the, the like, worst mutants, besides the fact that he can be set on fire and he's pretty... You know, Wait, a wax physiology. Yeah, yeah his it's, whole body is wax. Yeah, what himself. kind of wax? Like candle wax or like, like scary? Yeah, he can be lit on fire. Yeah, it's, he can like, be it's paraffin. Yes, yeah. it's like paraffin wax. Like a okay, candle. So, it's like a yeah. human candle. His eyes like float up here. Look, let me look you at my team that I already have and make sure there's no fire people. Up catch on fire. <laughs> Why? I think recently in the comics he had kind of a leadership role. Or like he was. If you say leadership to me one more time, you're I, trying I swear, to brainwash me. They, they kind of like Glob. I think they like drawing Glob for him, and he's fun um, to draw. It sucks because I really liked who my heavy and muscle were. I could still make. Um, what is he? Can you give me his qualities one more time? So wax physiology. So yeah, his body is paraffin, living wax is highly flammable, but he can fling bits of himself. He has superhuman strength. Durabil superhuman durability and superhuman speed. So, speed, speed, speed of wax. Speed. Um, I do love the idea. You know, so What's often his bone density for so many uh, waxy. So many of these characters, right? Like their their mutant abilities, like manifested in puberty. I love the idea that he was just like a normal kid. Yeah, and then he hits like thirteen. He Wait, turns into wax. The, he is in X Men: The Last Stand. He is he's one of the Brotherhood of Mutants. He's a dude when uh, uh, Magneto lowers the bridge and they're running in and they're attacking. Oh, he's in the first wave. There's a dude who's like got transparent skin. And you kind of see his bone. It's very quick. And he gets shot with the cure and immediately like healed. And he just turns into a normal person. I was like, this is a guy who should have wanted the cure from the start. Yes. And like, he should be happy he just got shot with the cure. He's not going to see He's death. fine now. Yeah. What is the chat saying I should put a baz? <laughs> I don't, uh, well, the chat is pretty distracted right now because Tommy's in the chat today. Oh, I think he's playing oh, along. Oh, hey, Michael. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Chat, what do you guys think that we're just to play Glob? Do. I he's love a good newcomer. We can, I don't want to put him in newcomer. Okay. I don't want to put okay. him in newcomer. Um, I'm going to put him. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to put him as my leader. Leader, Whoa. love it. I'm gonna That's put him good. As my leader. That's wow. Good. What's his name again? <laughs> I don't Glob, even know who he is. Glob Herman. Yeah, Glob Herman. Glob Herman. Was that his born name? I don't know. Let's Did the parents see. know? Might have been doomed from birth if his first name. Yeah, was uh, Robert Herman. Robert. Bob. Bob. Oh, instead yeah. of Bob, he goes with Glob. Call me Glob. Love it. Okay, okay Brandon. A two. A two. two. Oh, this one's interesting. So this is Forget Me Not. Okay. So he's incapable of being perceived or remembered by virtually all individuals, and he has no control over his power. So oh, no. he was a part of the X-Men for okay. like six years, and no one knew about him. So, <laughs> except Professor X had like a mental reminder of being like, remember Forget Me Not. So he would just check up on him like every hour. So oh, his only oh, power is that everybody instantly forgets about him? <laughs> yeah. That is the most lonely boy mutant of all time. Yeah, this isn't doesn't it? help you, but it also doesn't hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, or maybe the, the enemies will forget about him, and then uh, he'll just yeah, they can sneak up in. on him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He but then his own team new, is like, oh, he can't wait. be the newcomer. That'd be so disappointing for the audience. Their character keeps getting forgotten. And a leader cannot be forgotten no, like that. <laughs> he's not a heavy. Oh God, do I have to make him brains? Oh, I had a good brains too. I love that brains is yeah, gonna be our garbage got... category. We have to bury our <laughs> Evan didn't want us putting them as newcomers. I'm like, no, no, no I know. Beak, newcomer. Beak belongs as a newcomer, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's let's go brains for <laughs> forget me not. What he'll do is like he'll leave strategies just like sitting around. And they'll be like, how are we gonna how are we gonna get Magneto? And they're like, oh, here's a good plan right here. It doesn't yeah. mean that he's gonna be smart with his plans, it's just that we're gonna he, forget. This is the smartest forget me not across all multiverses. Which, which means he might just be a normal person with it, a normal idea. It's also, yeah, he can be like me, where I often just um somebody else says something smart in a room and then I just repeat it louder. And, it. and then I get trick. I get like credit Beak. for it. Yeah. <laughs> like Beak. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. That was rough. Okay, <laughs> but you you now um No, you start. You okay, start. so now I, I start with the actual picks. Okay. Well, I feel like I've been saddled with some kind of rough brains. And uh, Brandon mentioned the X-Men. It's interesting. There's a very deep bench. There's hundreds of X characters, lots of mutants. Mm -hmm. We've already heard from a couple that are very obscure. But it's a little thin in a couple categories. And so I think I want to target those categories, frankly. 
And I want to start with muscle. And this is... This is your heavy. This is my heavy. This is the art, my brawler, okay. my Fist of Cuffs character. And I'm going to be lame, but again, billion dollar <laughs> box office. Okay? I mean, it's not a bad choice. It's not I'm a bad going choice. with... Wolverine. Hey, if you're not picking Wolverine number one, <laughs> what are you guy. even doing? I okay? don't even want to. I don't want him on my team. I'm glad you now, took him. Now, but I now not. Him. Note, note that this is not Hugh Jackman. No. I'm recasting. Okay. This is not a classic X. We need a we need a fresh start. Bless his heart. I love Hugh Jackman. That character played him across like a dozen films. But this is a yeah. fresh start. We'll go younger. We'll go shorter. But no thicker. one can bring. No one can bring him back. Correct. So Wolverine's off the board for everybody. No He's more done. no no more Jackman. No more Deadpool Jack. three is his final. You should get Daniel Radcliffe on. to be your Wolverine. I need I need a real thick boy. Yeah, off the top of your head, who's your Wolverine? I mean, I know it's the classic fan casting. Taron Edgerton. Yeah. That's not a thick boy. He's gotten a little. That is a five foot man. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's I like that. That I you know when you're think what I was thinking like and it's hard because there's not a lot of male celebrities that are like just like big round but like sh like uh, the, Zac Efron and Iron Crew or uh, the Iron yeah. Crew Iron and the Iron Claw Claw. Yes. and Iron Crew really? and the Iron Claw because that like that He's stomach short. is just like okay. wide yeah. as hell. And yeah. Just, like, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. just all muscle. <laughs> that's actually pretty good casting too. Zac uh, Zac Efron. As Wolverine, that would be pretty good. He did. He showed himself He's off older. in Iron Claw. I need to see I what kind of facial him. hair he can bring to the game. Yeah. But yeah, that's not he bad. He might be very sensitive about it. <laughs> yeah, but it will be nice. Um, okay, Jessica. You know, I was gonna go with one that I know that you guys know, and then I was like, you know what? Maybe I was playing wrong the first time. Good. I'm not gonna go with my heart. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna go with my anger, and I'm gonna take my newcomer. Oh. And it's exactly who you think it is. My least favorite, Jubilee. Whoa! Whoa! I knew it. I... Whoa! I knew it. One pick ahead of Brandon. She took Jubilee off the board. If this is a snake draft, I'm taking his. Mm. I gets mine. Mm. I gets wow. mine. Wow. That's a strong pick. And she's going to be a great newcomer. Yeah, and it's going to be great you know what? and perfect. I didn't even have her on my list because I was like, there's no way I'm getting Jubilee. Brandon's taking her number one. But Jessica got her. What That's a good, good. pick. That's also, good. has not gotten her justice in any of the films. No. Right? And like, she is very I love her in the them, animated yeah. series a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna put her as leader. Like an older Jubilee. Oh, an older okay. Wow. I was like, like oh, she's, yeah, she's she's, she's been a there child. a long time and she's she's been there since the nineties and she's gonna show these kids how it's done. Okay. Strong picks, everyone. I get to make two picks. You get to make two picks. Two strong picks. Um oof, 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 oof. Maybe I should get my leader out now. I already got mine. Oh, well, I guess mm. he still has his. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, okay. Well, I think I can save And you get two picks, remember? I know, I know. You I get think two I picks. can save this one because I think it's good. Uh, okay. For my... Ooh. Ooh. For my leader... Um, my leader's going to be Storm. Whoa. Whoa. Love it. She's, she's wasn't even on my list. She's like first. I'm lying. She was. First, yeah. <laughs> she was first on all parts this, of my list. In this story, like there's been mutants. Like I don't know how to explain. There's been mutants. She was in. She's been there for a while. Um, yeah, she'll be my leader. Storm's my leader, and then I Loki didn't want to take her again because I didn't want every draft we do for me to just, <laughs> just continually. Get and That's I fine. do. I stand for her, That's and fine. I always will. I love her, but. Sometimes you gotta let go. And then for my heavy, I'm gonna take an interesting one. This was gonna be my brains, but I'm switching over to heavy now. I'm nervous that we took this. What is it? Well, this is this might be surprising. I don't know how much people think about this. I'm taking Danger. Okay. Oh, what? Danger was created during the Astonishing X Men run uh, by Joss Whedon. Uh, piece of crap, but great, great, great storyline. <laughs> uh, danger is a personification of the Danger Room. It has come to, it's like an android. Kind of like a robotic. fembot kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? It was initially evil, but it's come over to the good side in some runs. Uh, it knows how every mutant fights. Kind of a, vi a vision kind of character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I will take Danger as my heavy. Interesting. Um, so those are my two picks. You've currently got Storm and Danger. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Forget Me Not, which you forgot about. <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> okay, back to Jessica. Um, I think I'm going to take. My who do you, you have your brains right? I do. Yeah. You don't. Uh, my brains are forget me not. You forgot. <laughs> I did. This is like the how power is working. This is how good. <laughs> um, how good this. Is. I think um, I'm going to take my muscle for now, mm. and because we're not going like Omega, so I don't really want Phoenix. 
<laughs> if we're not I mean, getting, if we're not getting her at her fullest. But Phoenix is so uncontrollable. Uh, but I thought you said power was the way to go. That's what you said last time we played. It is, but that was it Secret is. Wars. Oh, <laughs> this is just X-Men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a little tamed. Uh, I'm taking Colossus. Oh, good, yes. good, good, good. Uh, Good. I mean, I already had my muscle, but he was—he was gonna be. You guys are taking returnables. My next off the next board, pick. really. Real also, quick. here's what I'll say about Colossus. Obviously, most prominent in the Deadpool mm -hmm. one, but I will say that was a fun character in that movie. But like, I think the CGI with a little updated CGI mm -hmm. could be a lot better. They did, I still they liked him a lot. Cheap. I still it loved good, him. It was still. on the cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I still loved him, but also he's not. It's interesting. In Deadpool, they made him a lot smarter than I thought he was. I thought he was yeah. kind of not the smartest. No, he's a smart guy. He's, he's, he? he's pretty smart. Well, and, and you know, he obviously, like a lot of these mutant characters, has like family members that get involved yes, in stuff. Yes. His sister, whose picks. name might still come up in this draft. Don't spoil we don't my know. Picks. Um, okay, so now it's to me. I have, I have a brains and I have a muscle pick, so I need a leader. But I'm going to jump leader. I Again, I feel like there's... Two S tier psychics, and if I gotta get one of them. Yeah. So I'm taking Jean Grey. Ooh. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. As my telekinetic uh, psychic, good. whatever, uh, telepathic. Um, I was leaning towards Professor X, but I got two guys, and you know, I need I need a little uh, little gender diversity. And I mean, when you got Wolverine. And you put Jean Grey this, in there? This is good, yeah. I mean, that's a built-in storyline, guys. That's classic. That's you're, 1968 to, to 2028. You know what I mean? Shipping, you're not shipping Beak and Jean Grey? We're not shipping <laughs> that? I thought he was oh. sensitive with brittle Be, bones. Be, Beak has a girlfriend in the comics. He's a wife. He has a wife and like five kids. Is it a yeah. bird? Damn. No, she's another X-Men, right? She's in... Um, <laughs> She's in first class. The fucking at the she Mighty has the, the fairy wings. Uh, yeah. Is, they, is it Angel they Salvador yeah, or Angel uh, Salvador. or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they connect <laughs> over uh, flight flight. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, oh, so Jean, I got I got where the joke was going. Jean Grey's my telekinetic. I I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm not saying I love I got love for Famke Jansen. Um, I liked her portrayal of Jean Grey, but I'm I'm gonna recast that. You know who I want? I want I want Carrie Mulligan. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I want somebody with some real dramatic depth because it's all psychic is hard because it's all in the face. You're not doing kicky punchy. You got to just give us a lot of this. And I feel like an actress like that can give us a lot of, you know, nuance you need, like, and detail. like an actress with really big eyes. Ooh, that's a good one too. I would do like Jodie Comer. Ooh, I mean, two of my favorite, you put two of my favorite women Actually, up for this role. Co Comer's choose. the better pick. That's a good. I I I, uh, so I, I kick I kick Mulligan to the curb. I'm taking Jodie. Oh, I love Dang. them both. She's so, so good. Much. They're both great. They're both great. Okay. Oh, and I get a second pick now. Mm -hmm. Snake style. I want Jodie Comer with the uh, bike rider's accent as Jean Grey. Weird '50s Chicago accent. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have to fill leader newcomer. Well, you know what, guys? They're gonna call me square. They're gonna say. <laughs> I'm basic, okay? Because I just drafted Wolverine and Jean Grey. Mm -hmm. But you know what? When Daddy needs a leader, <laughs> oh no, he's gonna do it. Daddy looks down that bench, and he sees Cyclops That's sitting good. right That's there. Good. Hey, I did. Good. I no. I went away from Cyclops immediately as my leader. I was like, I'm not putting that motherfucker up in here. Uh, I'm putting that motherfucker up in here right and now. And you know what, James Marston? Anybody watch Jerry Duty? Yeah, 100%. That guy. He got Emmy nominated for his role in Jerry Duty as himself. As himself. Playing himself. Um, and, and he would do a little diverse casting for Cyclops. Oh, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah do you only have white people? It, well, I'm well, going to count Beacons. I don't <laughs> we haven't cast, you know, this movie wants to be cast. That's right, These that's right. I, I mean, I got Glob man. Herman <laughs> yeah. and Jubilee. <laughs> so what? You got a clear person? <laughs> and Colossus. <laughs> Jubilee, I got clear Jubilee, metal. Jubilee is of Asian descent? Yeah, Jubilee yeah. Shinley. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I haven't cast any of these characters, but I like that as a move, that's especially... Right. Yeah, Cyclops making the whole all the Summers brothers again. We could see another Summers show up mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. here in the draft. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. So that's my that's he's gonna be my leader. I so the I still have to pick a newcomer and a, a classic Fox Beautiful. character. Beautiful. Okay, um, here let's get to Jessica's next pick real quick. But first, we want to shout out um, uh, the people helping us bring this episode to you. First off, we have a new friend in the game, Jelly Bean Planet. Um, we've got these, we've been snacking around these, uh, snacking on these around the office. Um, they're delicious. That's right. Um, these jelly bean planets, 
Uh, that's the name of the company. In fact, I'm going to pop open a couple. By the here. end of this decade, we will put a man on the jelly bean planet. <laughs> I am not a jelly bean. <laughs> Jessica's been eating all the like, I, the white crazy clear ones, ones out of there. They're like the coconut ones, and I love them Ugh. so much. I don't like coconut, but I just got are delicious. I just got a very powerful peach one. I like that. What's the optimal number of jelly beans to eat? Are you like a one at a time? Well, are you a these, handful? I will say these are very flavorful. They're very good. I like these kind one at a, one at a time. Yeah. They have like a nice mix. And they're like very clearly defined. It's not just right. generic candy flavor. Now, it's when like, you identify two flavors that go well together and start picking oh, them out. Oh, I haven't even that's tried always that. like That's, that's what I love. I just like grabbing four and toss them in there. And if it's like a green apple and a coconut and a marshmallow or whatever, I'm happy. You're you know, a I Looney Tune. Right. Just my grandmother used there. to have a, a little candy bowl of the worst tasting jelly beans you've <laughs> ever had that in your life. They've been sitting there for they two years. They were colorful, but there was no, it was all just wax flavor, yeah. disgusting, any like kind of uh, jelly beans. These are delicious. Though. These are these are good, and our friends at Jelly Bean Planet, th these are made with no gelatine, no gluten, no palm oil. It's good stuff. They're making these guys in Europe. Yeah. I think they're actually manufactured in Ireland. I heard uh, this was healthier than eating vegetables. I, I heard know. that. I don't know, I don't know who true. you heard that from, Brandon. That's strange okay. that you heard that. Uh, Willy Wonka. <laughs> to support our show and get some jelly beans of your own, head to the, the link in this video's description. Um, you can grab actually this exact uh, 42.5 ounce container. Ooh. And it, it fits right here on the break room yeah, desk. That Real extra nice. half ounce really comes in. Throw it on your desk, throw it on, you know, be the good grandma to your grandson Brandon and you know have some good jelly beans there so you, uh, uh, hit that link in the video's description um, we also want to thank Lucy for sponsoring today's episode of the break room Lucy is upping the nicotine pouch game with breakers these mini liquid capsules inside each breakers you get a, a nice satisfying pop and instant flavors that last it comes in four or eight milligram of tobacco free 100% pure nicotine and in six delicious flavors including Berry citrus, the one I'm holding right here, Ooh. or mint or mango, or all kinds of good flavors. Um, break up with your dusty gas station pouches and go to lucy.co slash breakroom and use promo code breakroom to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and has a 30 day refund policy if you change your mind. That's lucy.co and use code breakroom to get 20% off and always free shipping. And the fine print, Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Thanks again to Lucy for sponsoring this episode of The Break Room. Okay, Jessica, you've had a little time now. You are an, a crazy person. He does not care what flavor it is. He's just that, eating that it. That is wild. I'm also- Because what if it's the black licorice one? Yeah. Brandon's had enough meals with me. I'm a disgusting, as much as I love food, I'm a terrible eater. I just shovel. He I says, eat fast. He says he's a terrible eater, folks. I have seen Zach eat. Pound, a two pound burrito in five minutes. It's insane. And he has a full conversation while he's doing it, and it's not rude. It's not this clear <laughs> what he's talking about. He said it's not rude. But it still happens. It's incredible. He's an incredible eater. Put him, on the, put him on the road. Folks, he'll geek, okay? He'll do it. <laughs> I, was born, I was born to it. Born uh, to I just love to eat fast. I don't know, I'm, I'm disgusting. Okay, I, Jessica. I think for my one, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna cast my one Fox X Men reprising their role. Oh, I don't think nice. running out of them. I, I don't yeah. think you. Yeah, that's mainly that we're running out of them, and yeah. I don't think any of you guys probably had this person on your list. Okay. But this is one of my favorite X Men movies. One of my favorite characters played one of my favorite actors. I'm taking Nightcrawler. Okay. Oh, oh, what a good I call. I love. Okay. I mean, is there a better set piece? in any superhero movie than the attack on the White House oh, that started yes, X2. Yes, yes. That's so, so good. I love him. Uh, good but pick. Yeah, I was like, mm, I still have my brains and mm -hmm. I still have my telekinetic person. Mm -hmm. right. Cast. right, 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 right. Okay, double dip here. I got a weird team. Storm, danger, forget me not. That's where we're at right now. Uh, Storm, you know, I'll take, mm, this is tough. Mm. Mm -mm. You took Jean Grey. That's a bummer. I was gonna bring back Famke Jansen. Love her turn as Jean Grey. She's really good at just like that stoic face. Yeah. Of like, I don't care. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take, for my newcomer, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I had several picks here and I had a conversation with Evan earlier. He really put something in my mind that made a lot of sense. I think I'm gonna go with this one. My newcomer is gonna be the character Polaris. 
Polaris, Ooh. who is Magneto's daughter. Yeah. And that's who she will be in this movie. Magneto is dead. Okay. She's Magneto's daughter. She wants to chart a better path for herself. And that's why she's at the Xavier School for Gifted Young Question. Okay. Just because this you said- This is our audience surrogate. Is. Just because you said Magneto's dead does not make him dead for our lives. No, no, no. <laughs> in oh, Brandon's can, universe- Brandon's have, like, nobody can, can get Magneto now. <laughs> Does she have green hair? Uh, yeah, yeah. She's like comic accurate. Yeah, folks. very hot topic. Yeah, very, yeah. yeah, cool. Love She's it. He's my newcomer. And then uh, I think for my uh, former X Men reprising their role, you know, recently we watched Last Stand. Mm -hmm. uh, and thinking? this really brought it no. up for me again, and I loved it. <sighs> Dr. Fraser Crane is coming back. No! We saw, I mean, he's, he's already in the MCU. Marvels. He's yeah. in the MCU. We're, we're gonna get beasts, and he's I like running the house. I should have taken Storm's him. the leader, but he's like when I of, had the chance. So I, he was great. Go back and watch Last Stand. Kelsey Grammer's going hard as Beast. Yeah, he and is. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, he is. Yeah, now, is, yeah this, he is. is it Kelsey Grammer with heavy prosthetics, or is this full CGI? Yeah, yeah. We're making it work. It looks good. I I would like him to be in prosthetics. If it's if he's too old for it and it's not working, whatever. If it's just his voice, that's fine. Are we gonna see some like not just scientist beast, but yeah, we're gonna see some brawl. beast out. We're gonna see him down. climb a wall. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. see him punch a guy. Dude, too. in Last Stand, that guy is killing people. It's brutal. It's great. I like it's that great. pick. That's, great. Great. that's a strong pick. Those are my two. Also, picks. he's kind of a double dipper because yeah. Or a triple dipper. You got him as old Fox character. He could be a leader. He, he could, could be brains. Yeah, he yeah. could be muscle. He's he's checking a lot of boxes. I I, I let it slide for too long. I was like, mm, now that they already I mean, took their brains, Jean they're Gray, not going to take it. Gene Gray, Cyclops of Wolverine. Zach is killing this. Oh, Zach you heard it, folks. You heard I'm it, folks. Like <laughs> At this point, he's killing good. it. But. <laughs> Am I doing good? <laughs> okay, now is this your last pick, or do you have two more, Jessica? I have two more. Okay. Well, yeah. After this, it'll be my last. Um, I'm mainly making sure that I remembered this character as the correct character before I put him on my okay. list. Um, did any of us choose Professor X? No. no he's out there. I, got, I low key am like, I oh. don't. That's like. That was that'd be me playing like Zach right now and just playing, for, just playing to. <laughs> that was my favorite Magneto. I love Magneto. Yeah. I was going to pick him as my leader, but like, I kind of like yeah. the idea of like, daughter of Magneto trying to get out from under a shadow. He's been tormenting the world, he's dead. Maybe him and Charles just like drove into each other at full speed, destroyed each other. I kind of want to ask you guys for your opinion. Okay. And you can try not to be mean and persuade me <laughs> into something that you already chose. So I'm going for, I think I'm going to go for my telekinetic person. Okay. Mm. And I, my first option, I put Psylocke. Okay. Yeah. She was on my list. And then, but the second option is Emma Frost. Yes. Emma Frost is great. And I, 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 I love Emma Frost. I, have, but I, I had her as a potential but I gen, But I didn't like what I saw of Emma Frost in the movie. Sure, because correct. Because it no, wasn't I would better. never bring back And that's why Jones. I'm like, uh, there, yeah, and we can make a new Frost. There's yeah. something you can do there, right? Like a lot of times the best versions of the film superheroes is when they've made some pretty yeah. significant changes trying to the comedy. Yeah. She does not need to be some kind of weird lingerie wearing, you know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, or, you gotta I mean, stick okay, to well, whatever. But like. <laughs> You can Brandon. make some tweaks. Yeah, yeah. To, there's such a cool core there, and she is like. There's been so many like kind of different yeah. versions of her throughout you the comics. Do Eric Frost, no, the Get White King. <laughs> Wait, that sounds awful. Oh, oh my that God. God. That's you. <laughs> That's no, you. no, no, no. White King. White King. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do Emma Frost then, and let's do. And just because I know that images sway y'all, let's not do the one that we saw in. Not the, January the, Jones. January Jones and yes. not class. JJ. Yeah. We're gonna do from the comics. Um, I'd also, the other ones can be from the movies. Nightcrawler, Jubilee, from the animated series, Colossus, and Glob Herman. <laughs> Glob. You wanna bring them back from last season? My stands? third, my fourth option, because you guys sometimes will take like the three that I uh -huh. made, was Hope Summer. Mm, that, you Ooh. know, yeah. I had some of those children of, of Gene and Sky mm -hmm. out there. Cause there's a few, there's like Rachel Summer, yeah. there's Hope Summer. You could make, you could cast this whole thing with just the Summers family. Yeah, we just, yeah. yeah. For real. It's yeah. gotta be awful to be Scott and like constantly these kids are coming in and you're like, we haven't even had sex yet. What's going on? Where are all these kids coming from? <laughs> they're from the future, they're from the past. I'm just throwing a kid from the future and I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm like, mad too. You got a brother out in space, space probably having yeah, space yeah. babies. Um, okay, so I have to <laughs> space get- Space babies? These are my final two picks. I have to get a newcomer and an old Fox character. I, I gotta say, 
I've got a I've got a lot of good choices for newcomer. The old fox character's tough because like, you know, um, Professor X, um, Patrick Stewart's still sitting there. Ian McKellen's Magneto. Or yeah. younger, uh, we could go Michael Fassbender Michael Magneto Fassbender. is sitting there. Could do I could take a lot, but it's like some of those, as much as I love those actors and I love their portrayals, I feel like, you know, we we saw so much of them. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want like a fresh start with some of those characters. So I'm gonna go a little farther afield. I think this is great actor, great character, maybe a movie less loved. Okay. I'm taking as my old Fox character, Anya Taylor Joy's magic. Oh, she's from New Mutants, baby. She's good. She's the best part. I almost did part. that. I almost did that for my she's, bring her back. She's yeah. an actor whose star has risen exponentially since that movie came out. Yeah. That's just a badass character. It is good. Always character. artists have so much fun drawing magic because she's got this badass sword. She can and do magic too. That's the best part. Yes. She, she like absorbed a magic. dark dimension and like also like some alternate reality version of Storm taught her magic. I don't know. It's it's great. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do there. She's also Colossus's sister. Yeah. So you get a little fun connection there. Family is a big element of X-Men. So she's my Classic Fox character. That's also, nice. so few people saw New Mutants yeah. that I feel like she's not tainted by that. Yeah, movie. yeah. No. You know what I mean? Um, she would have been a good newcomer, too. Yes. Magic's yeah. a great newcomer. Uh, and so that's the final role I have to fill. My newcomer, my kind of audience surrogate, who's going to be like, you know, dropped off by the bus at Xavier <laughs> School for the Gifted and kind of who, who we see the world through. And again, keeping with my theme of like classic X-Men lineup, mm -hmm. this is a member of the classic lineup that I feel like Mm. has never maybe gotten their due. Maybe due to some CGI constraints that uh -oh. now wouldn't be as big of a deal. More Okay? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I think I'm going Bobby Drake Iceman. Ooh, I was, I was thinking about Iceman. Oh, that's a good too. one. I mean, I've got one. Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman. I've got the like OG 1960s X-Men lineup. You have a almost. pretty good one. Um, plus, I think like you could do some, now they always have an Iceman, you know, in the Anna Paquin Rogue. There's right. a, Iceman's there and he gets a little bit of time, but he always kind of gets lost in the shuffle because Wolverine and Cyclops and Jean yeah, Grey take up a lot of the space. But I like him as like being the, the and young- And you want to do classic comics when he first appeared and he was like a fluffy snowman with fluffy clouds. <laughs> yes. Would, but he would still wear the, the boots somehow or on the outside of his fluffiness. He was drawn so funny. And, he had no and I face. mean, how they do the power with the weird, ice sidewalk that he kind of surfboards yeah. around. Well, he's uh, never really done that in the movies and that's what you gotta do. Like, you gotta do on, that. I mean. They would stretch like up to the top of buildings and stuff. Yes. Wild and And stuff. you know, like with Miss Marvel, they kind of started to yeah. on screen show us what like the the little mm -hmm. steps could be. I, I wanna see some of it that would, done with Ice great. Man. So that, that's- He's mega level, yeah. He so that's my, my full lineup, locked in. That's a good Winner. lineup. That is a very strong lineup. I don't want to, I can't even shit talk it. It's very good. <laughs> yeah. It's classic, it's basic. Very basic. You know. Beaks, you're probably your best pick, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Beaks, probably your strongest. I'll tell you right now. Um, yeah, I wouldn't scrap with Beak. If he pecks me, I'd be mad. <laughs> That's the last thing I want. Um, Those liquid shits all over the place. Yeah, what kind of what bird is he? Is he like a chicken? Because then they kinda, get their eggs stuck in their butts. Yeah, he looks chicken or vulture. -y. He looks he like the chicken lady from Chicken's got a lot Kids of in the Hall or whatever. I don't know Chickens that come with a lot of diseases. <laughs> um, I think, oh, fuck. Oh. Um, okay, I'm with my brains. Who's your brains? My brains are forget me not. How can you do this? You can dominate us in this time. category because we both stuck <laughs> our I, I stuck beak as my brains and he has forget. I immediately <laughs> remembered yours for some reason, but I keep forgetting because I was like, isn't yours that beat the bird? And then sorry, yours forget me not. He's forget me. How could you forget him? <laughs> what other options did you put for your brains? My other brain options, I had like, um, I had danger there originally. You and danger. I had beast there uh, already off the table. I had husk there. I really liked husk. As a brain? Yeah, yeah. In my, in this my, in this universe, I feel like whoever I could slot in there could be like the smartest one. All right. Tactically, like I had Nightcrawler for brains. I was also thinking of like doing like an Archangel story where like okay. he's come back, but his, he's almost like a vision where like he's he's become Archangel. He has the metal wings. He's you know, more cyborg than man at this point. And he's trying to relearn, but he's very smart because he has like a computer brain. That's how I envisioned my arcing. I, I had, and this is just, you know, this is maybe a corny pick, but I had Forge. You need, a, you need a MacGyver, you know what I mean? He could be tinkering. He's he was, always working on the jet, you know what I mean? He was my go-to 
He was my go-to oh, anytime it was like, you know, uh, X-Men versus Justice League or whatever. And it's like, Forge, he invents a gun that kills Superman. Boom, you're done. <laughs> yep. Boom. Uh, Forge, he invents a gun that kills Wonder Woman. Boom, you're done. You're done. You're done. I was going to put Forge as mine. Um, and then do it. I was really quickly was like, oh, let me go look at how smart they are. And they're not that smart. Mm. But the, I, the power, they can, build they can build anything. They just see and they go, I can build it. And then I compared it <laughs> I to it. Mr. Sinister and I was like, oh, also not. They have the exact same level of intelligence according to the comic book like can, powers. You know. But also, I maybe shouldn't put Mr. Sinister on my it's team. probably not great to let in the house. <laughs> it's right there in the name. He's yeah. sinister. Yeah. He's like, I'm about to be Professor crazy. Sinister. You've already, got, you've already got at least one converted villain, too, yeah. in Emma Frost. Today so. in class, we're going to learn how to turn kitty cats inside out. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I'm going to take my first d d mm -hmm. male presenting boy. Okay. <laughs> and it's going to be Forge. Forge? Yeah. 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 So now, yeah, I got my entire team. Sick ponytail Beautiful. sometimes. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Brandon um, with the final pick of the draft. Final pick, and uh, I saved this one because I knew none of you would take it because it's so good. For my telekinetic... If you take Xavier, I'm going to kill you. For my telekinetic... No, I'm not going to take okay, Xavier. No Xavier in these movies, folks. No, not forever. Wow. Welcome to the new MCU. Uh, he's a ghost. Anyways, my telekinetic, and I'll leave it up to you guys how I can do this. I want the cuckoos, okay? These are the clones of Emma Frost. Currently, there's only three of them. Originally, there were five. Two of them have died over the years. Um, but if I can have the three, Phoebe, Irma, uh, and Celeste, they're triplets. They, they run together, Wait, they roll together. you get three characters with your but I mean, they They're one character. I was low-key thinking this with Cloak and Dagger. I was like, this do would, I get- This would be like Multiple Man, where he can be three people if he needs to be. But, but he's got one birth certificate. Right. Well, these poor girls- They probably don't have any birth certificate. Their origin is <laughs> so messed up. So messed up. Uh, and they're treated very weird. It was also funny, like, their names spell out Spice, which is, like, silly. Like, I, I, it's very silly. But I like the Cuckoos a lot. You, you can kind of see them in the Fox movies. There's one, I think in the first X-Men, there's, like, three girls walking in the background. Uh, if I can only have one, I'll pick one. But if I can have all three it, representing it, Is their power set is all identical? It's, it's all the yeah, same? Yeah, they're pretty much the clones of Emma Frost. Uh, so they can, they're mostly telekinetics. It's, a, it's another thing with... But I think they can, they can also do the diamond skin. There's so many X-Men clones that, like, yeah. all of us could have had a Jean Grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like we, we all could have had Summers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All I of us. say that it's fine, but that image better just be one of the clones. Okay. When we, when we oh, show like the draft. Yeah, when we show it at the end. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah think Brian, you got it. You can pick, like, Phoebe or you can... I want Phoebe, Irma, and Celeste are my three. They're the three that, are, that survived. Um... But yeah, those would be my picks. Okay. They're great too. Like they get introduced in the school and they basically just wipe everyone's mind. So they think that they were always there. So you have Forget Me Not and you have the Cuckoos kind of messing with everyone's head at this school. You're, it's, a, it's a brain F over with. Uh, okay, so let's, let's go down the line. Remind everybody of all of our picks. Okay. And I'm throwing this in randomly here. <laughs> you know, we got like Uncanny X-Men, Amazing X-Men, whatever, right? Like. What is your adjective, X Men? What are we naming for this, this lineup? Movie? Right, like yeah, yeah X Men, yeah, X Men First Class. Is it like you know, okay. whatever? Um, so, my team, classic, okay. And leader, Cyclops. <laughs> Brains, classic. Beak. <laughs> Muscle. Classic, classic. Beak. Classic. Muscle. Beak. Classic. Wolverine. No, not classic. I got, I got Jean Grey doing telekinesis. I got. Newcomer, Bobby Drake, Iceman, and Classic Fox character, Anya Taylor-Joy, coming back as magic. And my squad is called, how about X-Men Forever? Ooh. Okay, because it's a lot of okay. it's a lot of characters that have been around since the '60s on the team, right? So it's kind of like maybe we could play with time. Maybe it could even be like a retro movie. I, I don't know. There's something there. X Men Forever is is my now. Favorite. I have Beast. Can I be X Men Forever? Hell yeah, dog. Evan? Yes. Yeah. Great. Done deal. <laughs> Jessica, you want to go through your team? I'm going to throw myself off about that. Um, my leader, the classic Lob Herman, who I did not know. <laughs> leader, Easy. Lob Herman. Easy. He's showing up just slot going. Over the board. Yeah. And <laughs> Colossus is like, what the fuck are you just saying? And like, just says, just do, just go where he points. That's the thing is like, with the leader again, it's always best to have a leader that is like the most grounded person, sure, sure. so they can just be there and just be nice. And that's what Glover <laughs> is. 
<laughs> He's just there to be nice and supportive of everybody. Okay. Uh, just don't put him next to fire, which I think I'm good unless I have Forge. Okay, so, and okay, my leader is Glob. The brains, Forge. Heavy in muscle is Colossus. Mm -hmm. My telekinetic person is Emma Frost. Mm -hmm. uh, my newcomer is Jubilee. Heck yeah. The beautiful. The beautiful The Jubilation beautiful League. Jubilee. And my one Fox X-Men reprising their role is Nightcrawler. Oof, that's good. It's a good squad. What do, what do we call your squad? Um, I have Glob. <laughs> I got GH. Uh, I got the big GH, Forge, Colossus. My boys, Emma, Jubilee, Nightcrawler. Oh, hell yeah. Um, X-Men. Um, <laughs> oh God, I'm bad at this. I'm trying to think because mine is like, not to be horrible to your guys's, I got a lot of good people that are like, that are great people. I would love to hang out Yours is like with Emma Frost, Colossus, Jubilee, Nightcrawler, Glob, and Forge. So I'm X Men like, the crew? Oh, squad goals? X -Men? Uh, yeah, well, you said a real one that was like X Men forever. So I was trying to think of like X Men all in it. <laughs> All in it. X Men, I love get it. up in here. X Men all in. <laughs> oh yeah, X Men all in. Oh, X Men all in. in is it's good. a good, it's a good wrestling pay per view name, there and it's go. a good X Men name. All I had to take off was the it. It, it all up in that. Shit. All up in that. <laughs> okay, here's the winners, folks. Here you go. You ready? Your leader, Storm Aurora Monroe. Come on, yeah, Storm. Beautiful. Amazing. Uh, your brains. How could you forget? It's forget me not. I keep doing it. <laughs> He'll always remind you that he's there, okay? <laughs> My heavy danger knows how to fight every mutant out there. New, new to film? New would to be film. Your, would be your debut. Fully yeah. CGI character, gonna look great, gonna look awesome. Uh, my heavy, or I do my heavy. My Fox reprisal, Beast. Kelsey Grammer, quoting Shakespeare. Gonna be great. Uh, my telepaths, the Cuckoos. Three adorable women holding it down. Uh, and then finally my newcomer, Polaris, daughter of Magneto. Carving a new world for herself. Uh, and the name of my group, uh, X-Men Unleashed. Oh, nice. X-Men Unleashed. I imagine Forget Me Not just constantly tapping someone to go, ah! <laughs> Where'd, you come from? Where'd you come from? Who are you? How'd you get in here? Oh, wait, shit. My oh, bad. oh, oh. <laughs> Those are the teams, folks. Strong teams. Love it. Strong teams. Apologies to Magneto and Professor. I know. Are, a couple, a couple notable left out. No rogue drafted by anybody. I had, yeah, I no, didn't have her as a heavy. No uh, gambit. No when gambit. I, when I was thinking about my list, I was like, honestly, I don't think gambit fits into any of these it's, categories. It is no. tough. He's not an easy no. fit because I kind of wanted him because he is probably one of the most popular comic book characters that has not had a lot of screen time. Yeah. Showed up in X Men Origins Wolverine, but I think is that it. And there's been a long gestating Channing Tatum. They're like always gonna put him in stuff. Yeah, but they Keanu never make sense. Reeves, it. they thought about for some yeah. point. Uh, no Scarlet Witch. Gambit. No Scarlet Witch. No Scarlet Witch. Witch. No Psylocke. No uh, Kitty Pride. No, uh, no Kitty Pride. No Banshee. I mean, there's a lot of yeah, yeah. B and C and D level people. That I think are there's a lot of out. excitement here. We have of characters that have not been represented in the film. Yeah. Now. A lot of us were picking ones we want to see out there, uh, really killing it. Not me. <laughs> I went with proven winners. <laughs> you, do, you do have a pretty classic team. That's pretty good. We were also limited to only six. I mean, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it did feel a little big. small. Mm -hmm. Is six too? Is six too little? Should we do more next time? Depending on what it is. Maybe. Oh yeah, depending, depending. on what it is. Maybe. Evan, did you have a dream team? Did you put together a dream team? I did. I was playing along a little bit. I have uh, I have some picks. Okay. Um, you can't use I, any of the ones we used. I know. I did get very <laughs> mad because some of them got stolen. Because I stole points. Yeah. <laughs> Um, my leader, Young Cable. Oh, a young Ooh. Cable. You know what? That's a great idea. Did you also roll for a shitty X-Men? Oh, I'll roll. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Who, who's left? Take one of the ones that didn't get picked. Uh, Because oh, oh. we picked one. Or this is easy. Picks, he said this is two. easy. Um, I'll pick, um, uh, so, uh, pull up number five, Dashiell. Number five. This oh. is Rain Boy. Rain Boy? Oh, yeah. yeah His body is all liquid. Mm. Uh, it's in a body-shaped suit, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we don't know the limits of his powers yet, except that he expels his body out. Can you bring up that photo again? So they made a human-like suit that did not look like a human at all. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I guess it's like clear, right? He's like filling oh, out. He's like Osmosis Jones. Yeah. He does. Look, he actually looks a lot like Osmosis Jones. Yeah. Okay. In which case, I'll, I'll take it back then. He's my leader. Yeah, okay. He's your leader. Rain Boy's my leader. Hey. 
Yeah, uh, my brain. Trump's gonna tear that boy up. So yeah, he's he has to rise to the occasion. Brains would be a uh, sage. <laughs> yeah. Who uh, is currently in one of the comic runs? Works with Beast on Krakoa. Yeah. Uh, my heavy would be Betsy Braddock, who's oh. the current Captain Britain. Yeah, yeah. And um, like for a while lived in the body of Psylocke. Psylocke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, my uh, telepath or telekinetic would be Kid Omega. Qu uh, Quintavious Choir. He's kind of like a um, like a prodigy, like another like Omega level telepath, like in the comics. Who then like kind of flips and, and goes crazy. But then in Krakoa, he's like has this rebirth. He's in a relationship with one of the cuckoos. That's right. It's very cool. Um, I guess the newcomer then in this case would be Young Cable because I want to keep Young Cable in there. Young Cable. And, Young Cable uh, as your audience surrogate. Yeah. Is he constantly just getting close to machines that could tear his arm off and being like, nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, you okay, but will you go grab that near the lathe? Okay. Should we turn it off first? We don't have time. <laughs> uh. um, and then. Hey, Cable, I think there's a rock stuck in the lawnmower. <laughs> you take it out. People would just keep tricking him. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll take a Professor X returning, uh, but I'll take James McAvoy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's my bad guy. Yeah. yeah. Bald? Um, bald McAvoy? I think yeah. bald, always hitting on women, and his trick being like, I can read your mind in a club. No, thank you. I liked, I liked sh disheveled, drunk James McAvoy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah, Meanwhile, well, after he lost his Yeah, that was despondent James McAvoy. Crazy player. beard. And, he was yeah. not having it after the Not having it. Um, so, you at home, thank you so much for watching uh, along on Twitch or YouTube, wherever you consume this. Vote. I think, though, Evan, will there be a link in the... Yeah, the Twitch be... chat is already voting. Whoa. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can vote in the link below. Mm. Okay, what, what's the Twitch chat looking like so far? Don't know. Oh, don't... Do you, you really want to know? There's going to be thousands <laughs> of votes coming in overnight. The thing is, I know I'm in third. Don't worry. It's probably between these two, so I'm yes. Let's stay up all night and watch for that vote drop. And is, is, is your squad listed, Evan? Because I think, no. um, you know, you could just... I didn't, I didn't include mine. I, I made this form uh, beforehand. <laughs> uh, right now? Brandon's winning. Ooh! <laughs> Where's the other places? He's How did, into I'm the aware that I'm not going to be first. I need to know who's second and third. We got we got Brandon current. I'm watching the numbers go up in real time. Brandon currently has exactly 50% of the vote. Oh! Uh, Jessica has 36%. I'm beating you. And Zach has 13. I'm beating you. <laughs> What's well, I'm trying. To be fair, the boomers don't know how to watch this yet. Yeah, that's they don't right. know how to get on Twitch. My YouTube numbers are going to be a lot better than my Twitch numbers, I feel <laughs> like. The I'm, I'm, the I'm, the I'm speaking to the other 63-year-old. Uh, I am so... Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank incredible you. Incredible stuff. Wow, incredible. incredible. Okay, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Again, also throw in the comments, in addition to trashing Brandon's lineup, throw in <laughs> there what else we could be drafting on this show. What yeah. other kind of things? And it can be outside the realm of superhero teams... Yeah. Um, again, we're we're willing to get a little creative with oh, what we assemble. We should do like a bad example: the Breakfast Club, and we have to choose a jock and a nerd Ooh, and a princess. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, we could that's do fun. casting. Gambit, Gambit would be my jock. Gambit, <laughs> easy. Oh, this easy. is the Breakfast Club at Xavier's school. Oh, oh that's oh, fun. Yeah. And then we Five would, and attention. then we would put Kitty, and we would put yes, Rogue, yes. and we would put Gambit. That, that's where they yes, belong. Yes. <laughs> and who's hooking up by the end, and all that kind of stuff. We can, oh, you know, yeah. seasonal stuff. We could do a assembled Thanksgiving meals. We can do all <laughs> kinds of. Who we're eating? Who? I like that. Who? I, like that. I was thinking, what we're eating? <laughs> what do you mean? No, we're always playing with characters. <laughs> Unless like beak, you, beak you draft, like beak, yeah, yeah, you draft like cranberry yeah. sauce, you know. Oh, uh, you gotta uh, take turkey around. I thought we were being nerds <laughs> yeah, yeah. too. Uh, or, or I like who we're eating. Um, that's we actually we're gonna we we're gonna draw. rename the show, uh, Break Room. Who we're eating? Who we're eating today. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Rogue. Bye bye. Bye.